let's see an example for using shift for example in this piece of code we are expecting an argument from the command line so let's look at the part until the or I'm just calling shift and assigning to file name so shift if it's not given any array it will automatically work on at argv so basically this code that saying shift to the file name is just the same as calling shift on at argv now what happens is that if argv is um, empty then this becomes undef which is false and then the die part of the of, of this bullet er expression kicks in because it needs to ex uh, execute that part as well and this will uh, exit your code your script uh, printing out usage, the name of the script, and the capital letters file name, hoping that the user will understand that she has to add a, a file name on the command line. On the other hand, if uh, the user already gave a file name or something on the command line, that shift will move it into the file name. That's gonna be true because any file name is true. So the whole expression is already known to be true. The right hand side is not executed. So the script goes on. So that's a nice way, that's some example of how shift is being used. But there is a small bug here. So what happens if the user provides zero as the command line uh, on the command line? Then zero is going to be shifted to the file name, but zero is also false. So in that case the or will kick in and the die part will be executed and you will get an, uh, an exception. So there is this bug, but on the other hand, do we care about people who have a file name code zero? Well, it's up to you in the end.